wrestling fans. Stay tuned for this one. Let's go right to the ring. This match is slated for one fall. Introducing first, in the corner to my left, from Fire Island, New York, at 260 pounds, Diamond Timothy Flowers. His tag team partner from Hollywood, California, at 235 pounds, Goldie Rogers. Their opponents, the High Rollers, introducing first, from Las Vegas, Nevada, at 240 pounds, Ace Brandon. His tag team partner from San Diego, California, at 245 pounds, Ricky Rice. Dave Goble is our referee. Well, wrestling fans, if you're watching this on a black and white television, I feel sorry for you because Diamond Timothy Flowers and Goldie Rogers look like they should be doing a rendition of a chorus line or something. I've never seen so many colors in one spot at one time except when my little boy gets into the finger paints. This is incredible. And on the opposite side of the ring, they're going to be meeting some stiff, stiff competition in the form of the high rollers, Ace Brandon and Ricky Rice. This is going to be something else again. Timothy Flowers quite psychedelic tonight in his dressed-up combination of reds, whites, blues, greens, and yellows. Diamond Timothy Flowers already getting the action underway from behind and Goldie Rogers assisting in the attack on the high rollers. I'll tell you something, Ted. I've seen Diamond Timothy Flowers. He's headlined all over the United States. He is as tough as they come. Oh, what a reversal. What a reversal. And the high rollers turn things around and Goldie Rogers <laughs> comes to visit his tag team partner Diamond Timothy on the ring and we have a little mutual condolence session outside on the concrete floor. Right now it's Timothy Flowers against one half of the high rollers Ricky Rice. You know Ted it's Diamond Timothy Flowers the third if you will and looking at this character in the ring and the garb that he came in the ring with, can you imagine what the first two look like? And God only knows what the fourth Diamond Timothy Flowers will look like. Hard into the turnbuckle, up and over, courtesy of a backdrop by Ricky Rice. And look at Diamond Timothy. He's calling for a timeout. He thinks he's in a football game. Sorry, pal, there's no timeout in professional wrestling. It's bone against bone right from the opening bell. And Mr. Flowers is finding out in no uncertain terms that the high rollers mean business. Ricky Rice and Timothy Flowers locking up right now in the corner. Ricky Rice. Oh! Moved out of the way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't know how long Mr. Flowers and Mr. Rogers have teamed up, but there was no continuity on that forearm that Diamond Timothy delivered to his own tag team partner who then was arm dragged into oblivion by the high rollers. I don't think that Mr. Flowers and Mr. Rogers, the chorus line of professional wrestling, exactly have their act together in the ring right now. Timothy Flowers gonna do battle now with Ricky Rice, one half of the high rollers. Ricky Rice. With an arm drag takedown. Wherever you go in professional wrestling these days, Ted, they're talking about the high rollers. They're exciting, they're fast, they have tremendous high-flying aerial maneuvers in that ring, and they obviously have their sights set on tag team championships. So far, no team has been able to derail their train, and they show no signs of letting up. Ace Brandon in the ring now. That arm of Timothy Flowers made a very, very inviting target, and the ace delivered an elbow to the tricep area, but now, Timothy Flowers with a rake of the eyes and the tag to the very strange looking Goldie Rogers. Those tights of Goldie Rogers look like something that, well, maybe a set of drapes. Perhaps there's some old woman somewhere right now that 
has a street light shining into her house because her drapes have been stolen. We can tell you where they are, ma'am. They're right here. Tell you the truth, I used to have a comforter look the same. As right now, the comforter covering. Ace Brandon trying to make the tag to Ricky Rice. No such luck. This Goldie Rogers is making very unusual noises in the ring. I don't know if he's in pain, if he's relishing what he's doing, if he's masochistic, sadistic, if he's got gas pains, or what his problem is. But that is a very unusual grunting sound emanating from Mr. Goldie Rogers. Ricky Rice imploring his partner, who does do a quick reversal, but there's a yank of the hair. I the referee had to see that. I believe he did. He started to call for the break and then stopped. I don't know if Mr. Rogers denied the maneuver or what, but Diamond Timothy with a boot to the ribs and then a fist to the ribs. And Ace Brandon is in trouble right now. As Timothy Flowers goes to work at one half of the high rollers, Ace Brandon. Referee asking Ace Brandon if he wants to give up. No way. And a big knee drop across the arm of Ace Brandon. We've seen this high roller combination in some very, very titanic struggles with the top tag teams in Canada, the United States. And whether you're in Winnipeg, Brandon, Minneapolis, Chicago, no matter where you are, when you get a chance to see the high rollers, come out and see them. They are one of the most exciting and flashiest young tag teams in wrestling today. Goldie Rogers makes the tag, and in the ring he comes. Diamond Timothy Flowers whips Ace Brandon into the ropes and a double elbow sends the ace crashing to the canvas. Rogers in for a cover. Count of one and two. Oh! A two and a half count there. That would have been quite an upset as Ace Brandon almost bought the farm here against Goldie Rogers. Right now, Goldie Rogers goes to work, and Ace Brandon raked him across the eyes. Ace Brandon doesn't know where he is right now. You know, Goldie Rogers hammering the head of Ace Brandon into the turnbuckle. This Goldie Rogers is tough. Don't sell him short, and certainly don't sell Diamond Timothy Flowers short. They are a rough, rugged combination. And obviously, they have more than one dirty trick in their arsenal as a slingshot off the top rope. Sends Ace Brandon to the canvas holding that throat. He Notice won't be how, talking for a while. Notice how this tag team of Timothy Flowers and Goldie Rogers, they like to distract the referee while the other just goes to work at their opponent. Well, they're devious, Ted. There's no getting around it. And Ace Brandon is rocking and reeling in the ring right now as Diamond Timothy, 260 pounds from Fire Island, New York, of all places, delivers an elbow. He's in for the cover. Referee down for the count of one and two. Not quite three. Kick out by Ace Brandon. But Timothy Flowers goes to work on that arm. And by now, that arm should be as numb as numb can be. Ace Brandon has been taking quite a pounding in that ring for the past several minutes. And Ricky Rice, his tag team partner on the outside, really, really imploring his tag team partner to get in, get over and make the tag. He's loaded for bear. He'd like a piece of Mr. Flowers or Mr. Rogers. I can't get over those tights that Goldie Rogers is wearing. Every time I look over at him, I got to rub my eyes. It's like I'm looking at a test pattern. But the man can wrestle, make no mistake about it. And now Ace Brandon firing back. Finally, the ace unloads, and there's the tag. And Ricky Rice in the ring right now, and he is ready to go. Quick body slam, and down to the canvas goes Diamond Timothy. Goldie Rogers, and a drop kick now. As one half of the high rollers, the ace picks up Timothy Flowers. Another crushing body slam. Ace Brandon in on the tag now. Timothy Flowers. Oh, what a big surprise. Couch to the eyes. I thought Diamond Timothy was ready to be had there, but he caught Ace Brandon with a thumb right in the eye, and now he holds him there for that backbreaker, and now Goldie Rogers 
from the top rope with an elbow to the chest as Ace Brandon was being held in that backbreaker position by Diamond Timothy Flowers. The referee distracted. Had his hands full with Ricky Rice and didn't see that maneuver. And now again, the ace is in big, big trouble. Nick Karsh, Ted Stevens with you at ringside. This is tremendous wrestling action, as always, presented to you by the NWA, National Wrestling Alliance, and West 4 Wrestling Promotions. Wait a minute, we got the signal from the bell. They were caught that time. That time the referee turned around in time to see Diamond Timothy coming off those ropes. And by disqualification, the high rollers are victorious over Diamond Timothy Flowers and Goldie Rogers. They tried it once and got away with it. The second time, the referee in position to make the call. We've got the disqualification. Ace Brandon, Ricky Rice, the high rollers, your winners on NWA Wrestling. We're coming right back. the hottest new tag teams in all of professional wrestling. And believe it or not, they call themselves the Beautiful Blondes, Diamond Timothy Flowers the third, and Goldie Rogers. You know, you stand here in your $29.99 drip dry suit, your shino vinyl shoes, you bought it some cheap uh, Salvation Army, and your little clip on like the little boy going to first grade. You got a bunch of Indians standing out here, fat slob drunks. You got a guy that thinks he's a cowboy, Cody. What is this? What is he? You got this other idiot out here saying he's hurt that the, the Russian Markov and the Terminator and Sharky big plan to put them out of wrestling. I don't think it's going to take much. But it's nothing, nothing compared to what you're going to see from the beautiful blondes, Diamond Timothy Flowers and Goldie Rogers because we have conquered different parts of Canada before and Winnipeg is just the next step. Tell them, Golden Baby. Just a stepping stone, Jack. Just a stepping stone. We come here for some competition, and we're looking for it. Hey, bring your drunken Indians, bring in your cowboys, bring them all, sign it all on the dotted line. Sign your life away, Jack. That's the end. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful blondes, they will be a force to be reckoned with in professional wrestling. We'll be right back right after this.